lecture we will see like how we can get the ohms law by using points form of ohms law like suppose if you take a conductor wired to a source of emf that's how we will see in the electrical circuits right so in that case you know e is v by l and j is i by s suppose you have considered let us say uniform cross section area okay in that case j equals to i by s and e bar is not equals to zero and let us define some term resistivity which is the inverse of conductivity then in that case you will get resistance as v by i okay you substitute all these values in the points form of ohms law you will get some resistance r equals to v by i is equals to rho c l by s okay you will get resistance like we know v by i is the resistance from this you will get the resistance value is rho c l by s which is like in general we will call it as rho l by a that a is replaced by s here okay so this is for any conductor of uniform cross section area s so suppose if the cross section area is non uniform how to find out the resistance this is one important question and tricky one so in those cases you need to find out resistance as v by i but here the v is integral v e bar dot di bar okay and also i is integral sigma e bar dot ds bar okay like this you need to find out right because you cannot directly substitute v equals to el and i equals to js okay you need to integrate them because the cross section area is not uniform and how to find out power p so it is integral v rho v dv e bar dot u bar and it is equals to integral v e bar dot rho v u bar dv right because i am taking rho v to inside means like i am rearranging the term that's it because rho v is constant anyways okay we will get power expression as integral v e bar dot j bar dv this is nothing but joule's law okay from this how to get power density so it is just divided by dv like density is always will be divided by something okay that will be equals to e bar dot j bar which is nothing but sigma magnitude of e whole square because j equals to sigma e that you know right